Hello everybody out there, how are you all doing? Welcome, as always, back to Rule of Two Review. So E3 is officially over, it's behind us, the hype and the excitement has died, and it's a sad thing, but I also look at it as a really good thing because I seem to be one of maybe a few people that really enjoyed E3 as a whole. I thought it was great almost entirely across the board. Even the, my least favorite things I saw, like EA's press conference, still had one of my absolute favorite games of the entire show, with Battlefront, and that theme carried through anything else that I didn't like, and then of course, most of the other press conferences I very much enjoyed. I think Nintendo absolutely killed it, totally won E3, and that's a really good feeling. Now when it comes to Nintendo, there's one specific thing that got everyone excited. It had me and you and everyone we know jumping and hooting and hollering and freaking out, and that was the moment of Metroid Prime 4's reveal at their spotlight, and it was like the greatest moment, the I don't know, the, the PDF image heard around the world, you know, no gameplay, no trailer, no nothing, just this logo for Metroid Prime 4, and we all got excited, and then, of course, the double Super Slam stinger that Nintendo had when they revealed Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS, just immediately following uh, that spotlight, and then, of course, their Mario Odyssey Treehouse demo, all of a sudden, a second Metroid game was shown. And we're all super excited. It's like the greatest time to be a Nintendo fan and a Metroid fan. And I am a Metroid super fan, as you know. And I started to think about what it means that Nintendo has decided to do this. And something that a lot of people thought we weren't going to see for a very long time. Myself included. I didn't expect to see any Metroid game at E3, let alone two. And a lot of people thought that maybe Metroid was even completely dead. I've talked about Metroid so much in the weeks leading up to E3. And you could go back to any video where I bring up Metroid and E3. And you can see a lot of people in the comments talking about how they thought Metroid was just a completely dead series. I never believed that, and to be fair, most people didn't, but there definitely was a healthy dose of people, at least that I saw just on my videos on my one YouTube channel, where a lot of people theorized that maybe Metroid was just totally behind Nintendo, and Nintendo wasn't into it anymore, and they didn't want to bring us any more Metroid or Samus adventures. Now luckily, that's not the case. Goodness. We do have Metroid to look forward to, two immediate Metroid Samus games, and probably many more in the future because I absolutely believe that both of these titles are going to do extremely well, and it's going to be nothing but a good sign, breathing new life and new blood into the Metroid franchise, which makes me, as a Metroid super fan, extremely excited. Now, going back to the idea of what it means that Nintendo has decided to do this, I wanted to kind of make this video a little bit of a suggestion from myself to a lot of you guys out there and to any other Nintendo or Metroid fans or disillusioned Metroid fans over the last almost decade through the releases of Other M and another certain title I'm going to get to who maybe didn't like these games. And I wanted to come to you and say now is probably a very good time in the wake of the, the, the announcement of two brand new Metroid games, one which is coming out in literally the next three months, I want to suggest to all of you that you finally consider taking the time to play this game. Yes, I know, Federation Force, the game that everyone who never played hates. I think it's time some people maybe give it a second look. Now here's the thing with this game, you guys. I'm not going to tell you, in suggesting that a lot of people consider checking it out, that it's a great game. I don't think that it's the perfect Metroid game, and for the reasons a lot of people, myself at first as well, were very mad at that game and wanted to just completely smite it and look away from it, those reasons are somewhat legitimate and sound, especially when that game was first revealed at E3 2015 and then when it came out last year, and some reviews were actually okay, but a lot of reviews were admittedly not so hot, and so for all of the reasons that people maybe shied away from it, I understand. And what I'm not trying to do is tell you not to have felt the way you did at that time, per se. But I think that now that we live in a world with Metroid games coming out, I think it's about time, like I said, that maybe people consider giving this game another look. The main reason I say this, there's actually two main reasons. The first one is, again, going back to why we were all so upset with this game at first, is because it was released in a time period where there was a huge dearth of Metroid games. 2015, just five years after Other M came out. Again, Other M, a game I very much enjoy, but a lot of people did not. And all of a sudden, the first time we hear from Metroid, the franchise, or from Samus in that whole period was Federation Force. This game that didn't feature Samus was about multiplayer co-op and was using this weird chibi robot art style and that had this weird sports soccer ball game. Like, And it was for the 3DS, not even for the Wii U, not a home console game. 
So all of these factors led to that game being pretty toxic to a lot of Metroid Nintendo fans. And again, I was with you guys at first. I mean, I was very much upset about that game being announced at the time. I let myself get over it over time. And as the months and almost year went on, I started to realize, you know, I get to buy a game that has Metroid Prime in the title. There's no Samus. It makes me mad, but I'm curious. So I'm going to give it a shot as a fan. And luckily, I was fortunate enough to discover that I didn't hate that game. But at the time, there was reason for a lot of us to be angry about this game, this weird, weird little title. It made sense for us to be angry about it existing and being the first time we heard from Metroid in so long. Where's Samus? Where's Metroid on a console? Where's the solo experience for Metroid that we're used to and that we wanted at the time that this game was announced? And so it was right for us to have problems with it. But now... We live in a time where Metroid is all of a sudden about to flourish again. I mean, Nintendo could have literally just given us any one of those two Metroid games, either Prime 4 or Samus Returns, and I would still be like, hey, it's great, Metroid and Samus are coming back the way we want them to. All of a sudden, maybe this game should be perceived a little bit differently by some people. The other reason I want to suggest people maybe pick it up is because, as I've already alluded to, it's actually pretty damn good. Now again, don't mistake my words, guys. I'm not telling you that, guys that this game is great or excellent, as I've already said. If I was going to review it as like even a Metroid super fan, it's like an 8.5, probably on the high end. If I was going to give you like a review, and I played this game all the way through to completion, co-op, single player, the whole thing. Um, if I was going to give you like a review score, not as a Metroid super fan, just completely objectively, I do think it's about a 7 or a 7.5, and that's not a terrible game. And you do get a lot of great Metroid elements and atmosphere and little, even Easter eggs and kind of cool little nuggets, spoiler alert for the end of the game, that do kind of make it feel like a Metroid Prime game. Again, only a Prime game, not any of the 2D uh, Metroid games we've played or even like other M. Very much at that first person Prime atmosphere and like the amazing graphics and really good 3D and solid gameplay. And the, the co-op thing that was done with this game, as dumb as it was to put it into a Metroid game, it does work. And it is really fun. It's actually really fun to work with people, whether you're friends or with just random strangers. It actually is fun to play through all those missions with someone. So you have a game that is a Metroid game, Metroid game, they try to work it into the lore, was received very poorly because we hadn't received a Metroid game in a very long time and we hadn't heard from Samus in forever, that actually turns out to be pretty good, and now in June 2017, we know we've got one Metroid game coming up in a couple months, and then in the next year or two, we're going to get the next big major console Metroid game that we've been looking for. Samus and Metroid are back. They're back, baby. We can be excited. We can just accept the glory and the goodness of this fact. And with that, I just think that a lot of people should consider looking into this game. Because I know that a lot of you guys, a lot of us, we passed on this game. Because we didn't want to believe that this was the only way we were going to get the Metroid name in a video game again. And, and again, I won't fault anyone for feeling that way. I'm glad I gave it a shot at the time that it released. But I don't fault anyone for passing on it. Because I know I shared your feeling when that game was first announced. But now we don't have to worry about that. Now we don't have to feel the stink of where's Samus, where's my real Metroid game when we maybe look at this game or put it into our 3DSs and give it a shot. And I think a lot of people, especially diehard Metroid Prime fans, fans of that trilogy specifically, the first person Metroid experience, I promise you, you're going to find a pretty good game. So... If you're not going to go and check it out and you're just like, screw it, I've decided I'm always going to hate that game, which is a silly thing to do without actually trying it, you're hearing from someone who played, purchased with my money, and played all the way this game. I have actual first-hand experience. If you want to be someone who's like, I'm never going to go near that game and I'm not going to listen to anyone, then that's fine. But if, if you're someone who maybe wanted to believe in the game or is just excited about Metroid coming up soon and we get a 3DS Metroid title in just a couple of months and you want to start feeling the goodness of a Metroid experience you've never played, there is no Samus. It is reliant on multiplayer, but I'm telling you, you're probably going to enjoy this game. If you could find this game used for like 20 bucks, it's so worth it. And I just want a lot of people who are excited about Metroid and wanting to play something Metroid-like right here and now not to overlook this game. It is not a dumpster fire. It is not a train wreck. It is not absolute garbage. It's a pretty fun 7, 7.5 Metroid game. And you maybe do get a little bit of Samus somewhere near the end. I mean, hey, maybe I just said that. Most people probably know that anyway. Um, it's a fun game. 
And Metroid's back, so we don't even have to worry about that anymore. Let's just enjoy the fact that maybe this game isn't something that people need to completely forget about now. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to talk to you about Federation Force and the fact that it's not a great game. It's not the perfect Metroid game. It's not the Metroid game we should have been given at that time. But again, it's not a train wreck. And Metroid's back very soon, in fact, we'll have Samus in our lives. So this is a game that I don't want as many people who first did to overlook it. I think some people need to go back and, and take a good hard look at this title, give it an honest to goodness shot, don't buy it for more than 20 or 25 bucks, and just see what you think. And if anyone ends up playing it based on my suggestion, I would love to hear from you either in the comments of this video or on Twitter, where you guys can of course follow me on Twitter, and I, I interact with you guys all the time on Twitter, I love it. And I would just be curious to see if my suggestion went anywhere and if it actually helped anyone find enjoyment in an unfortunate title that most people didn't really give a fair shot. So that's it. Good to be a Metroid fan right now. Let's look forward to Samus Returns in just a couple of months' time. Until then, let me know what you guys think of Federation Force, if you've played it, if you're going to try it because I suggested whatever you want to talk about Metroid-related, I want to hear it. So that's it for now, guys. Thanks, as always, for tuning in. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I will catch you next time on another video.